What's going on everybody? In this video, I'll walk you through how to connect your WordPress instance with an SMTP service provider. Now, you might be asking yourself, what exactly is SMTP and why should we use it? SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, and it's the industry standard for sending emails. While using WordPress's default email function can seem straightforward, it often leads to issues like emails landing in the spam folder or poor delivery rates and various bugs related to your hosting environment. And that's exactly where SMTP comes in. It ensures your emails actually reach their intended inboxes reliably and efficiently. To make all of this happen, we'll use a plugin called WordPress Mail SMTP and Mailgun. But feel free to use any plugin and service provider that you prefer. This is just what I've kind of gotten used to and I've been using both of these services for years now. So let's get started and make your WordPress emails more effective than ever before. Okay, so first things first, let's take a look at the website we'll be working with. This is our clients' website. We recently rebuilt it for them, a really simple website with a few pages. And this is the form that we're going to be working with. So I will go to the back end and navigate to the plugins and go ahead and add new plugin. And here, what I want to do is search for SMTP. And we're going to be using the first plugin, which has been tried and tested with over 3 million installations. So go ahead and hit install now. And once that's done, go ahead and activate it. Now, I don't want to go through the setup wizard and all that. I've already used this plugin a bunch of times, so I just want to get straight into it. We're going to be using the free version of this plugin, so there's not much here that we need to do with the license key. I'll go ahead right away and update this to be no reply at Webline. Something that I like to do is to have the from name be our company's name. I feel like it's great for branding for us and the clients constantly hear from us as their website is getting inquiries and people are using the forms that are you know scattered around the websites and you want to make sure to enforce this that way regardless to what email is being sent whether someone is resetting a password or it's actually the form that we'll be working with we want to make sure that the from name is always the name that we put here and again this is really good for branding and the next thing that we want to do is add a Mailgun API key. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my Mailgun. I've already added my domain here. Again, we use Weblime and we use specifically a subdomain as recommended by Mailgun. And I'm going to go straight to sending API keys and I will add a new API key. And in this case, let's go ahead and grab here the name of the client. And whoops, let me go back to Mailgun and in the description, let me just give this name here and I'll add the API key and I'll go ahead and copy this API key and I'll drop the API key here into my form and the domain name again is mg.webline.com and the region is US and let me just test the settings here. I don't want to save this and it looks like the settings were successfully saved. And that's pretty much it with setting this up. Now I can just navigate quickly over here and let me refresh the page. So we're dealing with the latest and greatest that we just applied. And for full name, I'll just write here my first name and I'll say whatever email. And let's grab this. This is a test and I'll go ahead and hit send. And the message was sent successfully. So I'll go ahead and open my email here on another screen. And let me open the message up and show it to you. So let me exit full screen here and bring this window over here. And you can see that the email was just sent to me. Here's the time just a minute ago when we did this. And it's telling me, which is directly from the form here with bricks, but it's telling me the exact link that was used and it's telling me that this is a test and the from is webline with no reply at webline.com. And if we really want to ensure that this was indeed the email that was sent with Mailgun, then all we need to do is go back to Mailgun and in this case, go to logs. And if we take a look here at the timestamp, you can see that this was sent just a few minutes ago. Again, take a look here, 4.38 p.m. on June 12th. 
So you can see here that this was done just a few minutes ago. The event was delivered. It came from no dash reply at webline, which is what we plugged in. And the recipient was myself at webline.com and the delivery status is okay. If I click on this arrow, it'll also show a bunch of private information as far as IP addresses are concerned and many other details and insights that can be provided from this message getting delivered. And I don't wanna click that because this is a client's website, but you get the idea and you can clearly see here that this was the case. Beforehand, the from name was completely different. And that's pretty much all it takes when it comes to setting all of this up. Now, granted, if you did this for the first time, then you would definitely have to go into domains to just set up your domain in the DNS settings. But in our case, we already had this routed for previous clients that experienced issues with their mail service. And so we've already done the initial step and moving forward, we don't really have to do that again. And that's definitely something that you would need to do again, just once if you're using a domain like us where it's the same domain over and over again. So for you, there might be another minute or two when you're first setting this up, but once that's done, it's smooth sailing from there. And that's all this takes to get everything up and running smoothly so that way you never really have to bother with email issues again. If y'all have any questions, please drop them below and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you'd like to support the channel, the best way to do so is to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching and happy building.